It's fourth and final meeting of the season between these two clubs. They haven't seen one another since the 27th of December, 35 games ago for the Sharks. Seems strange for two teams that share the Pacific Division as a residence. You saw the starting goaltenders, John Gibson for the Ducks. It's Aaron Dell tonight on the back end of back-to-backs for the San Jose Sharks. And in the absence of Joe Pavelski, he's their leading goal scorer. Silverberg chips it around. Ryan in the neutral zone and gets the first shot on goal of the game. Dell handles that. A partial two on one for the Ducks, but Brent Burns closed. Gets off, gets it in front, and it's rifled over top by Raquel off the glass and out of play as Anaheim gets another good opportunity. Carter Rowney, Carter Rowney yeah. in the middle. Moves back into the middle, so those two players kind of switching positions. Rowney in short. Rowney gets it on the end, put it in front, and a good play by Dell, who sticked it away from the charging carry. Here's Meyer the other way, lays it across, and Couture denied, as Gibson somehow got across. Uh, some good back pressure from San Jose, really putting the heat on the Ducks when they do get possession of the puck. So Burns and then, and then turns it in. Gets off, feeds Silverberg the trailer, Raquel scores! Return of Raquel and the Ducks strike first. Just rips it into the top corner, little wrist shot. That puck seems to catch on the toe of the stick of Ricard Raquel, and it is whipped up into the top corner. Oh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, a great rivalry. Brian, my apologies. Condolences. Minnesota defeating Cornell in that other semifinal. Yeah, the first time the Cornell women yeah. had reached the final four oh, since 2012. They can get it in his hands quickly. It gives him just an extra half second to kind of load up and get the puck to the front of the net. Sharks able to keep this one in. The redirect by Nyquist into the pads of Gibson, who seemed to have it under control until Andy Walensky fell into his lap. Popped across the zone. Shore gets a stick on it and lifts it out of harm's way. Ducks on side as Perry comes up with it. Fired in wide. Boy, he outweighted everybody, including Aaron Dell. Yeah, he had a little space up top, too. Tries to force his way to the front from behind the net, and Goudreau spots it out of harm's way. Just over two to go in the period as Radio gains the Anaheim line. He'll give and go, got it back from Carlson. Feeds the point. Patty's over, and Braun's pass immediately picked off by Richie as he came out of the sin bin. Gives it to Max Jones. Pops to the middle. Fires over. Dell Richie was blocking out the sun. Uh, great play by Jones to get inside position and love to see Max. He was in full speed as his stick was taken away right as he got to the doorstep. Terry weaves out of the right corner. Now behind the net. Still hanging on to it as he's tracked by Justin Braun. Gives it to Walensky. Big rebound again through the screen of Grant. And the rebound just fired wide by Sprong. Walensky gets it to the net. Dell finds it. And it's the second time now the Ducks have had a close in chance and have just airmailed it. Getzloff has it tapped away, and now it's off to the races. Shorthanded for Goudreau. He's got a man with him. Takes the shot. Gets him make the save. The rebound. Milker Carlson missed an empty net. Terry loses the puck at the blue line, laying the paddle down. Gibson settles it. Now he keeps it the line. Pops it across, Sorensen settles it down. Into the middle, Kevin LeBanc, point back, ties the game! LeBanc with his 14th of the year, and early in the second, the Sharks have drawn even. And then watch this pass into the middle for LeBanc. LeBanc, 62, just kind of curls off, gets inside of the face-off dot, right-handed shot on his off wing, and goes top shelf. He's a week apart for the, for the ladies, the yep. same format. I've always found that to be one of the more unique tournament formats that I've ever been aware of. Dell reaches out on a backhand bid by Shore. That was a bouncing puck. I'm not sure that was going to be on net, but Aaron Dell wasn't going to take any chances. Terry's the open man at center now. Anaheim changing, and Jones had to be careful at the line. Didn't want to touch it. It pops free for Timo Meyer. Looking for Nyquist in the slot, and that's swatted away by Manson. Recovered now by Couture. Middle of the ice at the line. Braun shot redirected in front. I don't know if it hit Walensky or if Nyquist got a touch. Yeah, I think Nyquist got a little touch on that puck. 28th in the league of the 31 member teams. First things first, you're just trying to kill it, and here they come. Perhaps shorthanded two on one. 
Raquel and Manson. Manson tried to go backhand as Dell lunged to his right. Got it back to Raquel. He tried to stuff from behind the net, but he was met there. Change of speed, change of direction by Ricard Raquel. Left Josh Manson wide open in the slot, and he just lost the puck a little bit too much. He could have got a little bit more on it and went across the grain. Across the grain, Dell's five hole was wide open, but he got his stick right on his stick, and he just lost it. Stretches it off the boards and it hit Hurdle in the skate. I don't think Hurdle thought he was on side, so he didn't try to play it. Ducks counter back quickly. Richie drops it to Sprong. Look to give it back to Richie and it went right through him. Oh, right between the heel of the stick and the skate. Uh, Daniel Sprong as he passed to Nick Richie. But what a chance. Lindholm quickly getting it back to the net. That missed on the short side. Richie into the middle for Sprong. This time he'll shoot it. And that missed the net. Burns. Fires it ahead. Here's Nyquist. Tried to put a five hole on Gibson as he was able to fend off Manson. And the power play now with only half a minute remaining. Fowler sends it across. Silverberg chips it in. Glove down. Terry into the slot. Henry scores! A power play goal, and Anaheim has their second lead of the night. Henry doesn't get much on it. But Aaron Dell off balance, can't put those heels together. And Adam Henry pots goal number 18. Kane wins the puck down low. Sorensen serves it out high. Court winds, fires. It's behind Gibson and tapped in by Timo Meyer. That's the first scoring chance the Sharks have had in their last three power plays. And this one is going to squeak between the arm and the body of Gibson. Burns trying to slap it around the boards in one motion, but Raquel keeps it in. Henrique reverses it around. Room for Terry. Fowler back over. Raquel's shot. Score! Henrique with the screen in front. Second of the game for Ricard Raquel. Third lead of the game for Anaheim. Adele trying to set it up for Burns, and that was not a clean exchange to say the least. Kane across the line for Nyquist, kept to the outside by Fowler. Back for Vlasic, his shot rattles the board. Rebound and Justin Braun reties the game. That one just came lively off the end boards. And the Sharks have tied it again. And it comes right onto the tape of Justin Braun. And he absolutely rips it. And for the first time in 30 games, the Ducks will go beyond regulation. It last happened on January 13th. Chris crossing in the neutral zone, Raquel and Silverberg. They gain the line. Silverberg right down Main Street. Scores! Jacob Silverberg wins it for the Ducks just 38 seconds into overtime. What a shot by Silverberg, about 18 inches off the ice. And watch where this thing goes. Just over the pad, under the blocker. Perfect from Silverberg. What a rip. So it's a three-point night for both Raquel and Silverberg. Silverberg's the overtime hero as the Ducks win it in overtime over the Sharks 